Hello everyone. What is the wholesale price? All right. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Who do we have here? Peeps just coming in. I, I, I love, somebody sent me this quote. I love it. The space between Christmas and New Year's where you don't know what day it is, who you are, or what you're supposed to be doing. It's pretty much where I'm at right now. Maybe you guys have similar, similar sentiments. Maybe not. So what's today's video about? Um, <clears throat> first of all, we're going to look at some things on Raspberry Pi and uh, on Amazon. Let's check this on out. Okay. We're going to check out some of this stuff. Um, before we check out some of this stuff, um, somebody posted another article about the Raspberry Pi and uh, there, the rumors of a Raspberry Pi 4. So here we are. We're just about at the end of 2017, and everyone's like, "Oh, I heard they're coming out." Oh, you know, everyone, all the rumors were up. ETA Prime did an awesome uh, April Fool's joke about the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and it coming out, and he just used another single board computer. And everyone was like, "Oh my God!" Got a lot of thumbs down for that video as well, but it was hilarious. I loved it, and uh, because everyone wants the next Raspberry Pi 4, the fact that there's a Raspberry Pi 3, it's 35 dollars. It, you know, it does what it does. It's got the RAM, the, the multiple cores, all sorts of great things, HDMI, and it's 35 bucks. Amazing. And so everyone wants the Pi 4 thinking that if they could keep the price down at the $35, but give you, you know, maybe double the RAM, you know, do maybe do a, a Celeron processor or something like that, um, that would be dope. That would be great. And everyone is looking forward to that because then we might be able to do GameCube, we might be able to finally get Nintendo 64 playing right, um, Dreamcast, the whole catalog. Uh, PlayStation's already pretty good, but you know, across the board, PlayStation, uh, probably not PlayStation 2, maybe GameCube. Um, so everyone's really excited about that. And uh, there's a recent article written about why we might, we won't get the Raspberry Pi 4 in 2018. So sad news, right? Um, and they're probably right. Because the CEO of the Raspberry Pi Foundation even admitted himself, they did this review by with Wired Magazine, and uh, this was early in the year. This was an early in the year interview, so these things could change. But basically, the interview was like, "Hey, you guys sold 12 million units, but aren't you really stoked?" They're like, "Yeah, we are. It's been great." But they said that you know they're not necessarily in a race to actually make a Raspberry Pi 4, and they're actually pivoting as a business model to go less after hardware, like building new single board computers, and more into software, which is, you know, uh, they just did a uh, deal with Google, so, and also uh, with kids helping them program educational things, and they're very focused on Pixel, which is their operating system that they run on the Raspberry Pi. So because of that, a lot of people think that they're gonna be Focusing less of the resources, which is time and money, on hardware and more on software. So that means not, so those that are like waiting for the Raspberry Pi 4, I would just say, you know, I would not be banking all your money on that. And that's why when everybody uh, tells me like what I'm excited for, what's going on, and um, all this other stuff, I'm always kind of hesitant because I think it's going to take a little bit of time if we ever do see a better one. Um, this article goes on and they bring up Asus Tinkerboard, right? So Asus, which is a huge company, is now building single board computers. And then they ask the, the CEO in this article, like, hey, are you worried about that? And he says, um, where is it quoted in here? About how, um, you know, if anything, it's just, there you go. It's validation. This is something worth doing. So he thinks, you know, having competition in the arena is just proof that um, we're, we're onto something here. So they weren't threatened by it and it did not motivate them at all, it seems, to pick up their game. Because like the Tinkerboard does 4K video, has a couple things that the Raspberry Pi can't do. So you'd think they'd feel threatened by it, but according to the CEO here, maybe he's just keeping his cool, he's not really interested. Um, so I just wanted to bring up this article because everyone always asks me about the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, you know, I, I would say the Odroid is probably, of all the single board computers, if I was to bet, would be my next bet as far as, you know, where are we gonna see a lot more, because the thing is there's there's better single board computers out there, but they just don't have the support 
if there was a single board computer to compete with the retro gaming aspect of uh, ra- of uh, of the um, Raspberry Pi, I would say it would be the Odroid right now. Uh, but I also say this in my other videos as well that I think computer emulation with LaunchBox or running some other, just running RetroArch or something like that, is is going to be to me is more of a competitor because you can buy these old now that laptops are getting so powerful like the laptop i'm using right now like so powerful and there's so many cheaper laptops you know i threw away i didn't throw away but i sold the laptop before this which was an i5 and an i5 can emulate playstation 2 no problem potentially so um in my mind computer emulation on laptops is going to be more feasible i think a bigger thing growing forward but We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just saying, keep your eyes keep your eyes open to that as well. I think that is gonna uh, be a little be a little wild. So here we are at just about the end of uh, 2017, and uh, I still don't know what the hell I'm doing, who the hell I am. So I wanted to make this video about um, the Raspberry Pi 4 because I think that's a that was a common topic that we saw in 2017 a lot. Um, Something else I wanted to uh, talk about is like buying things on Amazon. Um, I was looking at Amazon and I guess on Amazon, you know, you have sponsored here. These people like pay a little extra to get there. But uh, also you ha- it's often sorted by bestseller. I think mine is, oh, it's sorted by relevance right now. Um, but you can actually click inside and you can see like what is the best selling Raspberry Pi kit. So let's just say we clicked on this one right here. If you scroll down, it, this one's already says number one. Oh, it's number one release. But you can see here that it's actually only number three in uh, barebone desktop PC. So let's go to desktop barebones and we can sort it by best sellers and we can see what's selling the best on Amazon. So you can see that it looks like most people go for a $70 kit, um, which is interesting to me. Number one is the $69.99, which comes with the 32 micro SD. Second, 35 is a super starter kit. This is the second best selling, in, again, this is in this particular category, is this kit right here. So interesting that a lot of people are buying this. Does it even come with the pie? No, it comes with the just the boards. Okay. Um, and then we got another $69.99 kit. Then we got a, oh, the R3 board. I think the R, oh, that comes with the R3 board, okay. Yeah, a lot of people buying R3 boards. And then you have the this one for $16.99, a case and a power supply. Ah, people, see, I think a lot of people would get this, yeah, because it comes with the controllers too. People are, you know, it gives you everything. The HDMI power, you get a Samsung Evo Plus, and you get the controllers. Vilrose controllers. Anybody check out these controllers before? People think, uh, oh man, I got a whole trolling chat over here. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna derail this this live stream very quickly. Um, let's see where the Raspberry Pi three sits by itself. And uh, I wanted to see cases too. Is what I wanted to see. Okay, so that's best sellers there. Okay, so now we have cases. This is number. Where are we? Product details. Okay, so this isn't in, in a particular category. Exit. All right, here we go. Number seven in computer cases. So let's see what's in computer cases here. Wow, the number one case is this Vel, v, Vilrose case. Not this case. There it is. That's actually really cheap. Six ninety nine. One review. That's why it's the number one. It only has one review, but it's the number one bestseller. I feel like this person is cheating the Amazon system. I mean, it's ugly as hell, but for six ninety nine, how can you go wrong? Um, okay, what else is up here? Here we are, bestsellers. Aluminum stackable mining case. A lot of people on that Bitmine train right now. And then number two, five is this case right here. Is this case? No, not that case, but the... The other case, Super Tiny Tendo got number seven. That's pretty good. I didn't realize those sold so well. So Super Tiny Tendo, leading the pack. 
People like that as one of the best SNES cases. And then this case, does it come with a screen? Oh, uh, there we go. That's pretty dope. Does it come with the screen though? Oh, it does, nice. It's a pretty good deal. What's the resolution on this? Oh, it doesn't come with the display. You gotta buy the display, okay. What's the display on here? Oh, that's 70, shit. It's pretty pricey, guys. We got ballers out there. So you buy the, um, it's $27.99 plus $35 for the Raspberry Pi, past $69. Like, go buy a 21-inch monitor, guys. Don't waste your money on that. Jesus. Okay, what else we got here? Okay, Raspberry Pi, let's see where bestseller this is and what category. Oh, it's not in a category. There you go. Number one in motherboards. That's interesting. So it's the number one selling motherboard is the Raspberry Pi 3 next to all these higher end motherboards next to a couple uh, other kits. Wow. Crazy. The Asus Tinkerboard is at number 26 at 55. Asus Tinkerboard. I mean, that's pretty legit. I mean, I guess a lot of people bought these. 1.8 gigahertz, double the RAM as a Pi. And it's extra five or six, what is that, six gigahertz more? 0.6 gigahertz more? If only you had nice support, right? Okay, best sellers. Asus Tinkerboard, any other single board computers on here? Let's see if there's any other single boards. See, I don't think they're necessarily in... Um, Motherboards though. Okay, no other single boards. All right. Um, that was the best selling kit. That was number five on the kits, on the cases. Then you have just the clear case. Nice. And then back to bigger cases. Then you have the basic case. This case is pretty dope. This Does this one come with the wiring though? Okay. And okay. I mean, these are people on the budget, huh? Okay. Okay, basic case. Ah, this one comes with a fan. Yeah, I can see people wanting a fan and a case. Cheap cheap options there. And it comes with the risers. Okay. So Raspberry Pi 3 cases. Not a lot up there. I'm surprised the Nest Pi case isn't on here. Let's see where the Nest Pi case is. Come on, get me out of electronics here. All right, all the, no, I don't want Alexa skills. All right, Nest Pi. <clears throat> let's see where they're, let's try both. So there's Retro Flag and Yikeshi. Let's go and see where they're trying to, okay, they're putting themselves in computer accessories. Hold on, let's see what number they were really quick. So we're just looking at like some of the biggest sellers of 2017. So this is seven ninety five in computers and accessories, and what about this one is six nineteen in computers and okay. So they're both in computers and accessories. So let's see where we are in the pie, guys. Can we find anything pie related in computers and accessories? Can we make the top one hundred? Looks like the iPads and the Alexas beat us out. I'm thinking this list might be rigged because it's all Amazon related stuff, but the Roku got up there. Interesting, 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 interesting. Nope, nothing. All right, uh, where else do we have? Okay, the Flirk, let's check this really quick. Number 269, okay, so it looks like the Raspberry Pi doesn't even start hitting until about the 200th or so. So there you have it. Um, 
I just wanted to really quick go through all the best-selling Raspberry Pi stuff on Amazon because I was really interested, especially just what are people buying, right? Amazon being one of the biggest retailers. What are people buying? What are some of the top sellers, especially for 2017? I want to say what's up to everyone. Apple Device Pro. Can you put a link to the video where you uh, reviewed your keyboard? I mean, later. I, it's hard for me to get in there. Look at the Latte Panda. Latte Panda. Is that one of the single boards? Is that what you think is going to be promising? But I mean, look at that, dude. Look at the price on that. One twenty nine. You can get a Google Chromebook close to that, and then you're you know you're getting into you have a screen. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the thing was. It's like. How do you get a single board computer that's around the $35 price range that has the support that it has that can still emulate really well? You know, this for 129, you still need all your peripherals and everything else. So it's gonna get up there, dude. It's super powerful but expensive. Yeah, for sure. Do you play Roblox? No, I don't. Should I play Roblox? Hey Paul, what's up, dude? Frost. Uh probably in a couple weeks we can, buddy. The live chat's more, okay, add will make later, dude. Uh, all right, Sarah, see you later. Um, it's a touch screen. Yeah, I know, but still, you can get touch screens for way, way cheaper. Bitcoin's going downhill. Is it, what is it at now? Bitcoin value. Dang, it is 14. It was at, what, 19,000 at one point. Cray. Um... Only big ballers buy that. <laughs> yeah, it is hard to get a small form factor case. Uh, Frost, why are you why are you disappointed with the Wii U controller? Buy four. <laughs> Everyone's really excited about that. Lozy, what's up? Uh, serious question, Drew. Me, any farting dogs lately? No. But that book was awesome. It's a great book. I think more children's book need to be more transparent like that book. Um, chicken pot pie. Sounds good, guys. Uh, Odroid is really beefy. I agree. All right, guys. That's it. It was going to be a quick stream. Wanted to keep uh, keep it, put a little pie video in here. Um, I have a, a great pie video coming out tomorrow. And then I have, um, I actually have like four or five videos that are not related to Pi coming out as well. I hope you guys enjoy them. You know, we do reviews here, we do other stuff. I have this camera review that I'm working on right now. This is the Yi Light. And uh, I'm a little late to the game. This thing's been out for like a little over a year. But uh, it's supposed to be like a GoPro killer. Like you can get these for around 60 to 100 bucks. And, uh, you know, I would say it's compared to like a GoPro Hero 4. It does do 4K. It does do um, 1080 at 60 frames as well. And uh, the the microphone sucks on it, but the actual action camera and the and the sensor inside of here actually produces pretty good video for uh, for good lighting. So um, a review coming on this soon. This is a Christmas present. Got to check it out. So Mario says, "Peace out." Peace out, y'all. Hope you're enjoying your days between Christmas and New Year, and we'll catch you on the next one. By the way, did anybody notice the open sign? New props coming for the set.